Hey, what's up everyone? Jay here and I got some really, this is going to be a really good review video on a software I came across. If you do content marketing of any sort, if you're a blogger, uh, affiliate marketer, and you want to take your content marketing to the next level, if you're doing like maybe one post a week and you want to ramp that up to, you know, th maybe seven posts a week, even three, whatever it may be, or maybe even double that. And you want to, you realize it's going to take a lot more content to get to where you need to go. You're going to want to watch this video. Uh, it's this is a review of content at school at, at scale. Uh, it's going to be an in-depth review. I'm going to go over everything there is to know to educate you about this tool and see if it's right for you to take your content marketing to the next level. Uh, with that being said, if you do like what you see in this video, there's going to be a link directly below in the video description box. You're going to get 20% more post credits on the link. If you like what you see, you want to check this out for yourself, check out that link, go over there and give this tool, you know, try it out. Uh, I'm just going to say it straight up. This is the best tool that I've ever used for an AI based uh, content marketing tool by far and this is what the future of AI is gonna look like I think it's already here and it's even gonna get better from here on out but I'm really liking what I'm seeing with this with this software it's amazing to put it lightly and I'm gonna be using this for my business and I'm gonna show you some tips on what I'm gonna be doing when I'm using this tool for my own business to grow my blogs uh, i'm starting a new blog in um, about a month here and i'm going to be using this to uh, give it a trial run you know get a boost in the right direction see where it goes and then go from there but um let's dive in here let me get started and show you what this can do and show it show you exactly how this can help your business to you know take your content marketing to that next level uh this is one this is one of my local sites that I have, and I put the keywords in here. It's a plumbing site, Plumbers Rockford, and this this is what you're going to see when you log into content at scale. You're going to see what keywords do you want to rank for. All you do is put the keywords right here, enter the target keywords here. Um, if you have more than one keyword, want to add more than one keyword at a time, you can even upload a CSV file, which is cool. So you're going to put that in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then you're going to add additional context, which is optional. And this helps shape the post for this keyword in any way that you are wanting. Use context to give the AI topics to cover or angles you want to take with the blog post. So if you want a blog post uh, written in a certain way, like conversation or whatever, you can put all that information in here. And it's going to you know, create a blog post that's more inclined to your writing style. Uh, then you're just going to click, click click create content now or you can add the to keyword queue. I do the create content now if you're you're ready for the content to be published and all that stuff. What I'm going to do right now, I've already got some pre-made that I did through um, this tool and I'm going to show them to you real quick. We're going to go over to projects. Go over to my site here, Plumbers Rockford. And these do not relate to my Plumbers Rockford. I was just doing this as a trial run to see how well this tool worked. And I was very pleasantly surprised, to say the least. But I'm going to go over this one right here. And this was one on a best fish finder for pontoon boats, a, buy, a buying guide. And I'm going to show you what this created. So all you did was that, that my last step I just showed you, I just put the keyword in there. Um, and click, click create the post. And this is what it came up with. It's got everything pretty much done for you. It's really cool. This is a huge time saver if you're a blogger or an affiliate marketer. Uh, it's got tells you the words you got 1854, 51 paragraphs, 11 headings. Uh, there's no media. It's got optimization and it's telling you everything to do for your optimization. There's a brief and there's a review. Words match 104, total words 1952. So it's 97% unique right out of the box. Pretty much published ready. 
And a lot of them are even like 98 to 99 to all the way up to 100% unique. But 97% unique is excellent. And you can always go through there and add a few words of your own, which I recommend you do. But these are literally published ready. And it's going to go over, for your optimization, let me go over this real quick. And then I'm going to take you through the actual the content that this AI created so you can see how good it is. So with this on-page checklist, the title is optimal length. See how these green check marks? Title includes primary keyword. Meta includes primary keyword. Meta is optimal length. URL includes primary keyword. First paragraph includes primary. A subheading includes primary. Primary keyword twice in first four paragraphs. That's what they recommend. There's an X there. So you might want to add your primary keyword another time in the first four paragraphs and you'll get that green check mark um periods at the end of long list items you might want to go through that paragraphs are three sentences or less good outbound outbound links exist that's something you're going to do on your blog when you're going to add outbound links to whatever affiliate program you're promoting or you're going to want to add inbound links you know interlink between your blog uh, you can do all that when you publish this post on your own blog uh, placeholder images are on there. No images within, within first or last three paragraphs. It even adds a table of context for you. And in some of these posts, some some they add the tweet button and some they do not. This one does not have it. Not a big deal. But there is a that's huge that they add a table of contents inside each post. And I'm going to show you this right now. So once again, the title of this post is The Best Fish Finder for Pontoon Boats, A Buying Guide. It's almost 2,000 words, what, 146 words shy. And this is what this AI came up with just by me placing my keywords in here. This is me not doing anything. And this is completely written out of the box. And like I said, you can go through this yourself, and I'd recommend you do it just to get your own little personal touch on it. But literally, this is published ready right out of the box. And I'm going to show you why I say that right now because I'm going to start reading this to you. All right. Usually when you get AI tools, there's it's not a lot of it's not readable. And I would never, I haven't come across an AI tool besides this one where I would actually publish to my blog as is with a few edits without it being like way too time consuming because there's too many mistakes and all that stuff. This is, well, you'll see right now how good it is. Are you searching for the best fish finder for pontoon boats that money can buy? Great, then you are in the right place. But first things first, you need to know exactly what to look for when finding the perfect fish finder for your pontoon boat. First and foremost, you need to think about what kind of features are going to be the most important to you. Do you want a fish finder that's easy to use? Or do you prefer something with more bells and whistles? Once you've decided on that, then it's just a matter of finding a model within your budget range. It's also important not to forget about portability since pontoon bo boats aren't exactly known for being small vessels. You'll want something compact enough so that it doesn't take up too much space or add too much weight down low where it can potentially affect your boat's performance. And finally, don't forget accessories. A lot of times fish finders will come with GPS capabilities built right in but if yours doesn't be sure to grab yourself a handheld gps unit as well so you can easily mark hot spots and navigate and your boat uh and here it goes in there's here's the heading here best fish finder for pontoon boats a buying guide if you're in the market for a fish finder for your pontoon boat there are a few things you'll want to keep in mind first you'll need to decide if you want a portable or a permanently mounted unit portable fish finders are less expensive and can be moved from boat to boat but they're not as durable as permanently mounted units. Next, you'll need to decide what type of transducer you want. Transducers emit sound waves that bounce off of fish and other underwater objects, and then the fish finder interprets those waves to give you a reading on the depth and location of the fish. There are two main types of tran transducers. They go into flush mount, trans transom mount, and then it tells you all about these. And you got this nice thing, nice... um touch where it says key takeaway when choosing a fish finder for a pontoon boat consider whether you want a portable or permanently mounted unit what type of transducer you want and what features you need 
And you can see all the headers are in. This is perfectly readable. Honestly, if I read this on my blog, I probably wouldn't change pretty much anything. I might put it in my own voice a few words. But it is, it's unreal how good this is. Uh, let me go down, down here. You can see all this is all set up. Another key takeaway there. What to look for when purchasing a fish finder for your pontoon boat. Here are a few things to look for when making your purchase. And it's in, it's got a numbered list. Another key takeaway, the, the five best fish finders for pontoon boats. There's a fax put in here about uh, fish finders for pontoon boats. And a conclusion. I mean, everything is, we'll read the conclusion here. If you're looking for the best fish finder for pontoon boats, then this buying guide is a great place to start. We've covered everything you need to know in order to make the perfect purchase, from what features are most important to consider down to accessories. So don't wait any longer. Get out there and find the perfect model for your needs. If you're in, uh, and this is my, this is for my plumbing thing that I put in, so disregard that. Uh, that's it, the conclusion. Short, sweet, and to the point. And it's awesome. But I, for my conclusion, what I usually do, if, if I was going to publish this in my blog, I put, um, what's the title again? Best, my keyword is best fish finder for pontoon boats. For my conclusion, what I do for SEO purposes, I'll put conclusion of the best fish finder for pontoon, pontoon boats. So I get more, you know, I got my, my keywords in my conclusion as well, or a variation of that. But um, as you can see, with very little editing at all, and almost, what I said was 97% unique, this is written by an AI, not just any AI, you got to check this out for yourself, uh, like I said, check out that link below, and you're going to get that 20% more post credits, and you're going to be able to read about what makes this particular content at scale software so much you know head and shoulders above the rest it'll tell you all about it but like i said this came right out of the box me just putting the keywords in there and all you got to do is copy this copy the whole post hit copy go over to wordpress paste it in Make a few minor add-ins, add, add some pictures if you don't have them. Um, you know, maybe pretty it up a little bit, but I mean, like I said, it's pretty much as is, good to go. Uh, add your keywords, add your categories, um, and hit the publish button. This is going to save you so much time, so much money, uh, and it's going to be able to grow your content marketing business by leaps and bounds. So I'm using this in my own business, especially on my new blog I'm starting next month. And I'm going to update you on how well these are ranking. And I've already got one post that I did publish that's sat for about a month now. And it's ranking in the top 10. So that tells you something. And it was with very little edits. It was with me just going through, cleaning it up a little bit. Literally took me 10, 15 minutes, where it, whereas if I would have did this from, you know, wrote it myself, it would have took me six to eight hours easily. So this is going to, using a tool like this is going to save you a lot of time and could potentially make you a lot of money because you're going to be sh getting out a lot more content than you normally would. And another thing I wanted to add in here. I use Fiverr a lot for outsourcing content, my content marketing, and I did find a pretty decent writer, and I've been using her for a long time, and she's real good, but I have to edit a lot of the content, and it takes me probably between an hour and two to edit it, but it would take me six to eight hours to write it, so I pay her to you know, get the, you know, most of the hard work done. And I just go in and edit it, uh, add my categories, add my keywords, the pictures and all that stuff and hit publish. But if I was when I'm using a tool like this, honestly, this writes better than she does, which is crazy because she's like a top-notch freelancer on Fiverr. 
But with something like these, I'm not doing much editing at all. So that's going to save me a lot of time right there. So I'm basically with something like this, all I do is go in and add a few more keywords. Um, I might add another few paragraphs to it. Uh, I might add it in my certain parts in my own voice. Or I might not do anything. You know, like I said, this is this is already published ready right out of the box. But it's going to save. So basically, if I was going to publish this on my blog, literally add in the pictures, doing the categories, tags, and all that stuff, it'll probably take me an hour. Whereas hiring a, fr a Fiverr freelancer it takes me probably about two hours. That's saving me half the time right there. For a 2,000-word post with a tip and all that stuff, it's probably going to cost me 100 bucks. This is a lot cheaper and a lot more efficient. So with that being said, I love this. Content at scale, it's the best AI tool I've seen on the market so far. Hands down, like I said, I'll be using it in my business and I'll be doing future videos uh, showing you how my posts are performing. So I highly recommend this if you're a content marketer uh, of any sort, you're a blogger, affiliate marketer, you want to take your content marketing to the next level. Trust me, give this a try. It's going to save you a lot of time. And if you do it right, which most of you know what you're doing as far as keyword research goes, just do your keyword research. It can make you a lot of money. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, 20% off, or 20, I mean, I'm sorry, 20% more post credits on the link below. If you decide to check this out for yourself, you're gonna get advantage. You're gonna get this advantage uh, by clicking on that link below. Or if you want to learn more about this tool, like I said, check that link out below. Come on over, check it out, and uh, let me know what you think about this tool, about this uh, AI content marketing tool, in the video description below. Um, I'd like to know if you use it right now. Maybe you already use it. Let me know what you think about it. If you're as impressed as I am with it or not. With that being said, uh, hit the, sub the subscribe button. Thanks for watching my um, content and scale review. And I hope to see you in future video updates. Take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.